Okay, this is my fourth attempt at uh, installing Fedora 25 in VirtualBox. Um, I've got 5.1 installed here. I had problems with 5.0 not working properly. If you want to try it on versions prior to 5.1, you can try. Um, it's 5.1 is not in the repository at the moment for LE1216.04, so you have to manually install it. So anyways, let's get started. Click New. Um, I have it on expert mode, which allows you to do a couple steps at once. Um, you have to give it at least 1,024 megs of RAM or, th or 1 gig. If you go lower than that, you risk booting to a black screen. So, the, um, the manual says that you have to have more than at least 10 gigs. So, 10 is what I will give it. I'll probably be deleting this after I'm done anyways. Uh, it's dynamically allocated, which means it won't use that space until you fill it with something. If you're selling it to somebody, maybe you want to use uh, a fix so they are guaranteed to have enough space. So anyways, I'm going to give it a couple more processors. And I'm going to change the video RAM from 16 to 128, which is the maximum it allows you to have. And then I'm going to put the disk into the drive. Okay, and we're ready to power it up. Normal start. And so start Fedora 25 workstation. Live system users, what you click. Now you could just install right away. I like to click try first. And then I go into the web browser. And check to see if there's internet. I do this by entering some random stuff into Google and see, making sure it's not cached data. So the internet works, it's good. Now you go down to install to hard drive. English and Canada is fine for me. So automatic is fine. Um, the time zone needs to be in Toronto for me. And then begin the installation. And I will actually be back as soon as uh, it's done installing. But uh, I guess I gotta set up this stuff. Which I'm just gonna enter password. It doesn't like my um, password, so you gotta click done twice. Um, I don't know, they should have made it so that uh, it was more up on the screen because when I clicked done I wasn't really sure what was going on. And again it's making me click it twice. So I will be back. Okay, as you can see it's um, finished installing here. So I'm going to take out the disk and force out won't unknown is fine and then click quit. If you forget to take out the disk, it's going to boot into the wrong thing. So it's booted here. So English is fine. My keyboard already works. I'm going to turn these off. You can turn them on if you want. Now this is fairly straightforward. You click on it. Use your credentials to get into your account, and it will sync it with that. I skip it and start using it. Comes up with the help here on how to do common tasks. Sorry, excuse me. Anyways, so you want to go to utilities in the activities menu and terminal, and so I'm going to type in yum update um, should be sudo yum, yum update <laughs> alright I didn't give uh, Peter administrative privileges so I'm gonna have to write log in as wrote and uh, use su and if you don't specify the account it assumes it's root so now I've got this uh, hashtag instead of the dollar sign, which means I'm in 
root, so we're going to sudo yum update. Now this is going to take a while, so I'll come back when it's done. Okay, I'm back here and uh, it finished updating. So the next thing I do is upgrade it. So uh, you have to log in as super user. And it already was, so yum, upgrade. Okay, so it's upgraded and the next thing you need is yum install kernel dot dfl and then yes I want to download this and I'll be back when that's done okay I've installed uh, the kernel development so I'm going to restart it and then we'll install um, guest editions alright it doesn't seem to be starting properly so I'm going to go to machine restart and then I want to go into the Fordora 4.88 okay I'm going to go into devices and then at the bottom insert guest edition CD image should automatically pop up here if it doesn't you go into the files so it's popped up here run So what's the point of installing guest editions? Well, it makes it work better with your uh, host machine. It allows you to drag and drop and share clipboard, as well as set up shared folders. Um, it also allows you to change the resolution of the guest machine. So it's done here. I'm going to restart it again. I'm just going to go to machine restart. and it should go to the size of the the box once it boots and then you know you've installed it right now it didn't do that so Something is wrong here. Huh. Try it again. Try restarting it again. Four point eight eight is the one you want to boot. And you can see it popped up to this full screen, that means it's working. Alright, that's it.